Hello, Curran here. This video is about uploading datasets to VizHub so that you can use them to make data visualizations. The target audience for this video is people who have used VizHub a little bit uh, with data files alongside the visualization code files, which works, but it's not really ideal. This video is for people who want to load larger data sets, maybe more than 100 kilobytes, which is not that large, but it's larger than, you know, your average text file. The topics we're going to cover here include using VizHub's dataset upload feature and also loading the uploaded dataset into a visualization or a program with D3. First, let's use VizHub's dataset upload feature. I'm going to upload a CSV version of the auto MPG dataset from the UCI machine learning repository. In VizHub, the way to do this is click on this menu over here and then click on Upload Dataset. Here you're prompted to choose a CSV file, and if you click on that, you can choose your file, in my case, autompg.csv, and then click Open. And here we get a preview of the dataset. This is just the CSV text of the dataset. We can also choose a name, so I'm going to choose auto space mpg. And notice that when you type here, this permalink updates. This is going to be a URL that's going to be the permanent place where you're going to be able to download this CSV data anytime in the future. When you choose this name here and this permalink gets generated, you can't change the permalink later. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a permanent link. This screen also asks for the source name and the source URL. And the source name in this case is UCI Machine Learning Repository Auto MPG Dataset. For the source URL, I'm going to go to this page where I got this dataset, copy this URL, and then paste it over here. And I want to just make sure this title matches exactly, so I'm going to copy that, paste it right there. Now we can click Upload. This takes us to the page, brand new page, for this data set. And notice the URL. It's vizhub.com slash username slash datasets slash the permalink that you chose. We can see the CSV text right here, the title, where it's from, which if you click this, it goes back to this um, URL here. You can also click download to download the CSV anytime in the future. And here's a code snippet that you can copy-paste to load this dataset inside um, a visualization or any program that uses D3. It just calls d3.csv and passes in the same URL that this download link points to. Now that we've uploaded this dataset, let's load it into a program using D3. In my profile here, I've got this one data table summary. This is just a program that prints out a summary of a data table. And I'll very quickly go through what this code is doing. It's loading data.csv and then appending a pre tag, which gives you pre-formatted text. And it's saying how many rows are there, how many columns are there, and an estimation of how many kilobytes the file is. And then it's printing out uh, the first 10 rows here. It's calling data.slice to get the first 10 rows and then passing that into json.stringify. The thing about this is it's loading data.csv, which is right here alongside the source code files. This is what we're going to change. I don't want to change this one, though, so I'm going to fork it by clicking fork. Now I've got a new visualization, and I'll change this to auto mpg summary. And just before I forget, I'm going to update the README, too. This data is about cars. This data set comes from, and here I'll make a new link, and link back to here. The title of the link should be Auto MPG Dataset UCI Machine Learning Repository. All right, now let's go about changing where this data comes from. We've got data.csv here, but I'm just going to delete that. 
and you can delete things in VizHub by selecting it and then pressing the delete key and then it says are you sure? I said yes I'm sure. Now if this program runs again it fails because it doesn't load that data because data.csv doesn't exist anymore. But we can go back to our dataset page and use this snippet here and we've already got everything except the URL so I'm just gonna copy this URL here and then paste that into the place where data.csv was and now it loads see that this data is coming from that CSV file and I think I'll just reformat the code a little bit so that uh, we've got more space all right, that's how you can upload a data set to VizHub and load it in in your program. And what I'd like you to do is fork the same thing and upload your own data set and just change the code just right here to load in your own data set. And then you can see a summary, how many rows, how many columns, and get a preview of the first 10 rows. This puts you in a great position to visualize that data. You know, getting the data into the program is really half the battle. So, good luck. That's all for uploading datasets to VizHub. Thanks for watching.